go. Hello guys, my name is Christian and today we'll be cooking butter pecan cake. So the first thing I have to do is add the cake mix. The next thing you have to do is to add the one cup of evaporated milk. You can use water, but I'm using this instead. Two thousand years later. One eternity later. Okay. And then I have to add the one third cup of vegetables. A few moments later. And now have to and now have to put it into to the pan. And after it's done cooking. After it's done cooking, I'm gonna have to decorate the cake. With this caramel latte frosting. I don't know if you do this. The sun is a little bit thin. You can't keep it in your head. It's gonna be like thin. But it should expand. And I think for the second tray, I added way too much. So I'm gonna borrow some of the cake batter from the second tray. and put it into the first one. We have all the other excess in the spoon that you can make it in. Just scoop it out and just put it into the pan. I think I actually messed up. There's no going back now because I already put the thing. So it might, when it, after the cook, it might just stick on and then once I try to take it out, it's going to break apart. Twenty-six minutes. Hey guys, I'm back, and the cake is done. I put the cake in the refrigerator to let it cool for one hour, and then I trim off the top top of the cake. 
now I have to put the icing on the cake. I grabbed the wrong icing. I picked the caramel latte icing. Because it's... Because it's kind of newer. This is the like, ice cream that I never really use. Okay, I'm gonna put it. It smells like caramel and coffee at the same time. I am still spreading this freaking ice cream. And you don't need a lot of icing in the middle. Because on the outside of the cake, it's already gonna have a lot of icing. the icing on the sides. So you're just gonna take some time. Then you're just gonna take some time. A few moments later. Now now I can put the chopped walnuts uh, chopped pecans on the top layer of the cake. Here's the scissors to open the cashew. <laughs> the pecans. I mean the pecans. Or whatever nut you have. <laughs> You can see I already used like almost all of half of the bottle. That means that I mean, I have to because like these cakes are big. You can finish it off with some more pizza. Put the wash right here. Add some more. Oh, that's the top of it. 
have now a butter pecan cake. Look how good it looks. Okay guys, this is how you make a butter pecan cake. I hope you enjoyed me cooking this or making it. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and hit that bell button. Christian Cooks out.